guys. Well, this could be the start of my labor and delivery vlog. Kind of hope it's not. Kind of hope it's a start of a false alarm, scary situation mm -hmm. vlog. I came in for a doctor's appointment this morning and I kind of felt like I was leaking fluid when I was getting ready. So it hadn't been like a long time that I felt like that, but I asked my doctor about it. She ran a test that was positive, but she was like, oh, I don't know for sure. Let me run another one. She ran another one that was positive. She sent me over to get admitted and be monitored. Then they did a third test and that one actually came back negative. So they were like, wait, this is kind of weird. They think that I have maybe just like a small rupture like up higher So basically not as much fluid would be coming out like fast versus if it was down low oh, I have so many contractions too They're just the practice ones which I've had probably since like 20 weeks Just ordered food and they forgot my dressing so they're gonna be bringing it in And I don't want them to come in here when I'm literally filming myself I'm also here by myself because I thought the appointment was gonna be just like super quick One of the girls is sick so I didn't really want to have like a babysitter and have Parker come with me I was fine to go by myself and then still nothing is really happening We're basically just like waiting so I swear I keep hearing a knock on the door. I just wanted Parker to stay home because I'm literally just sitting here. He will come when something starts to happen. Basically, they're admitting me. I got a steroid shot for baby's lungs. She would be okay if she came right now, but it's like definitely very early. I try not to be stressed because what can I do besides just whatever's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Basically, they've told me they're like pretty sure that they're gonna wanna induce me, which I have never been induced before. Both of my babies came on their own at 38 weeks and I've kind of had a feeling this baby would come early the whole time, but I didn't wanna like put that out there and like, like 38 weeks is already early enough. Yesterday, I got all my baby stuff ready. I got all of her clothes. Like, we had them washed. We had them organized. I got everything ready. I still needed to, like, bring up her bassinet and all that stuff. So, I texted Parker to do that today just so that even though she would be in the NICU for a little bit, wouldn't come home for a little bit, like, we have everything ready. Oh, my gosh. These contractions. I did not have my hospital bag packed. So, I FaceTimed Parker and he packed it for me and then Lauren brought it because I actually had the car seats with me because I was thinking that I would just go to my appointment and then go home. So, she took the car seats back to him in case he needs to take the girls anywhere. So, anyways, there's not too much of an update for now. Basically, we're just waiting the doctor thinks that the best thing we can do is just kind of give it more time to see like if more fluid is coming out or if i go into labor i also do feel kind of like labory i haven't had like actual contractions i don't think honestly i don't remember what they feel like it's super weird because you would think that like especially having done this before i would know what it feels like to have a contraction and i'm sure that once it happens i'll be like oh yeah i remember now but at this moment i'm like i don't know i don't know what that feels like i don't remember anyways these practice ones are a little bit different your belly basically just gets like really tight so they are monitoring me my thing's still not on the screen or i'll show you guys but getting monitored eating some dinner and a little salad and it's warm but by the time my dressing gets up here it might not be anymore. So got some grapes. We are just hanging out until something happens. So I am officially staying overnight. They just brought me in a comfier bed. I think it's one of the beds that you get like after you've had your baby. So it's from the recovery unit. I brought PJs, but I don't think I'm gonna change out of this just in case. I also have my IV already. I've been getting antibiotics every four hours. I was positive with groupie strep in my last pregnancy. They hadn't tested me this pregnancy yet. So they said they just like assume that you have it and give you the antibiotic. And because I was a little bit caught off guard by just the whole situation of like not expecting any of this to happen today i was just like oh, okay sure i wish i would have like asked more questions about it so just a reminder to speak up for yourself just really know what's going on my contractions have slowed down i think they were like three minutes apart for most of the day when the nurse said we could take them off they were like five minutes apart or so so they slowed down a tiny bit but not much i think they're gonna do the next antibiotics at 11 so i might as well stay up because i'm gonna get woken up anyways but i need to get like my toothbrush and stuff yet but the nurse just came in and said they're gonna get me hooked up to the monitors again i wasn't on the monitors all night it was really nice because i could sleep better the doctor is gonna come and do another ultrasound basically to check my fluid level i don't feel like i'm leaking and i haven't for the past like little while since like last night and throughout the night and this morning but if it's a small leak it's like hard to tell what i'm really hoping for is to be able to be sent home if it was safe for me to go home and just like wait and see what happens and try and make it as far as i can obviously that is what i would prefer just freshening up a little. They're about to get me hooked up to the monitors again. My contractions slowed down overnight, but now I have not a crazy amount this morning, but I've definitely had some. I've also had multiple doses of this antibiotic. I've got it every four hours. I've been here for about 24 hours now, I think. 
Aspen Ovard, room two. Can I do a side of breakfast potato? You know when you order something and then they repeat your order back to you, but you like were not listening and they're like, is this correct? And you're just like, I don't know. I hope so. I have my Kindle. I was on my phone literally all day yesterday because I didn't have this for a little while. So today I need to read instead. I also have some work to do. So you guys are sitting on my computer. So I'm just making myself useful. Okay, we have an update. They just came in and did an ultrasound. The ultrasound lady like couldn't tell me if it looked good or not. She needed the radiologist to look at it. The nurse just came in when I'm talking to the camera. Anyways, basically, I'll know soon if my fluid levels look fine. And yesterday they did. I'm assuming that they do. So I have to get a shot, my second steroid shot at 11.20 and it's 9.18. So I have like two more hours and then I probably will get to go home, which will be really nice because yesterday they were making it seem like basically it was 100% that I was going to have the baby. Oh. Hard to sit up. My doctor thinks there is a really good chance that I will have like preterm labor and have the baby early just based off of like I'm already dilated to a two. My cervix is thinned out. I've had a million contractions this whole pregnancy. This happening, but hopefully I would make it to like 36 or I think 37 might be full term. I don't know. All right, so we are officially back at home. I honestly cannot believe it. Yesterday, I was like so sure that this baby was gonna have to come. They told me just keep an eye on everything. It's been a lot to process over the last day or so. I'm feeling like I need some therapy. Good thing today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. This pregnancy has honestly been so much just with all of like the different things that have happened. I had some like bleeding in the beginning, having to have like extra ultrasounds, extra scans, all of this stuff. Just having it be like my third baby when I wasn't sure if I would ever have a third baby. It has been so much and then to have like like complications and things like this is just a lot to process. So therapy is always something that can help you with things like that and just kind of figuring out how to navigate things. So something I love about BetterHelp is that everything is all online. It's also very easy and quick to get started with BetterHelp. It will connect you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful unbiased advice. So if you go on their website, in most cases, you will be matched with somebody after like 48 hours after you filled out their little questionnaire. And you can do everything from your computer, your phone, you can do a video chat, you can do a call, you can do messaging. They can help you get connected with someone who has years of experience with helping people through the same or similar struggles that you're going through. So if you guys are looking to try out BetterHelp, I'm going to have a link down in my description. My link is betterhelp.com slash Aspen and that will get you guys a little special discount off of your first month. I am trying to just get myself together today. I feel like I have so much stuff to do now before the baby comes, especially if we are thinking maybe she would come early. Obviously, we don't know for sure. I'm going to go get my nails done after I film right now. It's 1.15. I'm going at 2.30, so I need to leave in like an hour. I had a couple of things to film, and then I came home to some packages. So we are going to open these. This one is from Wild Bird, which is one of my favorite brands. They have really good baby carriers and baby stuff. So it looks like they sent this cute little thing. This print is so cute. This one's a little bare. Oh, this is a pillow cover. That's cute. I also sent some PJs. These are their cloud blend footage jammies. I've been wanting to actually order some of these. And I got all of my baby stuff organized. And I feel like I have enough clothes. But I also feel like I don't have very many. So some new PJs will be perfect. This is also a sleep sack with a really cute print on it. More PJs. I learned my lesson the first time around when I had Cove. I feel like I dressed her like pretty comfy. But I definitely had some more kind of like fancy outfits. I just cannot be bothered like even now my kids do not dress fancy i get on zara and see so many like cute kid outfits my kids are always just very comfy i also just dress very comfy especially with a newborn baby literally this is all you need little sleepers maybe little onesies i've had babies like in the fall time going into winter so i feel like i dress them kind of warm so and something like this but i also have some onesies for her since She's being born like spring going into summer. It's like they also send some carriers. I love their carriers so much. Their aerial carrier is like one of my favorite baby items. I don't think I had it when Lola was a newborn. Oh, that's a cute print too. Same as that little bear from earlier. I don't use carriers like a ton. I do definitely like to have one. And I feel like I used it a good amount when she was a little bit bigger or like when we took the girls to Europe. I had Lola in the baby carrier a lot. And I should have brought one for Cove too, but we thought she would walk and she wanted to be carried everywhere like Lola. So, okay, I also have this. Okay, I think this is just a fridge for the girls bathroom. I thought this was gonna be the toys that I got for the girls. I've been telling them that when baby sister comes home from the hospital, she's gonna bring them a gift. Cove wanted something very specific. So I let her pick hers out and then I got something for Lola too. And since when I went to the hospital yesterday, I hurried and ordered them on Amazon and luckily they were both overnight delivery because I was thinking that I was gonna have a baby today. That's not what was in this box. I told Parker to hurry and get the package and hide it because the girls like to check the door to see if there's any packages. So I was like, don't let them see that one because I don't want them to open it. This is just a wood frame that's gonna go in their bathroom once I get the art. Whoa, what else? Got some diapers. 
got some goodies from Benefit. I actually do not get very much PR anymore. I used to get so much. Like we would literally just get boxes and boxes and boxes every day. It's been a couple years now that I was like, hey, we need to actually stop doing that. It was so much stuff that I never could have like used it up myself. And I did lots of giveaways and stuff like that. So I still do those sometimes. Or the other day, a girl messaged me and she was like, hey, I'm getting married soon. I'm having a bachelorette party. I was wondering if you have any like extra PR that you would want to give to people. And I was like, oh, that is such a cute idea. Yes, I do. So I sent her a package and then I started seeing, I think that's like a trend now because I started getting a couple more messages like that. And then I started seeing a couple people like posting TikToks about it, but I haven't seen enough things about it to know if it's a trend or not. Either way, I was happy to send this girl a package because I had a ton of makeup just like sitting around. So I do still get like some PR, but now most of the time brands will like ask me before if they're gonna send something and I'll say yes or no, which is much nicer. This is another package from Wild Flat or Wild Bird. Ooh, knotted gowns. These are the best for babies actually. Like when you have a little newborn, it's so easy to change their diaper at night. Another one. I'm literally sweaty from opening packages. As much as I did not want to have a baby today or yesterday, it is on my mind how nice it would be to not be pregnant right now. Not have little feet kicking my ribs. Okay, my nails are done. I feel so much better if baby decided to come soon. Not that my nails even matter, but they were so grown out. And I know if she comes soon, then I wouldn't have been able to go. So it's just nice to like check that off my to-do list. Camera will focus. I just got like a light pink base and then some blue little like squiggly lines. So very cute. Then I went into Old Navy to get shower shoes because people always say the hospital shower floors are like super gross. I usually like to just get these little Old Navy flip-flops. I swear these used to be a dollar and then on the sign it said $2, but then the tag says $4.99. But I got me a pair and I got Lauren a pair because we always have matching ones. So I have that for the hospital too if I need it, which feels good. I also got some gummy worms as a snack. I'm gonna go home. My nails kind of took a while. So what time is it? 4.30. Oh my gosh. I think Parker's gonna go to the jazz game tonight. So I'm gonna be home with the girls, which I'm excited about because obviously I haven't seen them in only like a day. But we were also supposed to go to Southern Utah this weekend in like two days. Now I just like don't feel comfortable to be far away from home. So I don't think we're gonna do that anymore. But I'm feeling a little more normal. Yesterday I really did feel like maybe I was gonna be going into labor and today I feel a little bit more fine and not like that. But I feel like I'm getting sick. I'm kind of like stuffy and coughing. So Okay, I wanna show you guys what I like to pack in my hospital bag. I pack it very minimally. You really do not need very much stuff at all. I feel like I packed it pretty minimally with like both of my other births too. And even with packing as light as I can, I feel like I literally do not even use half of the stuff that I bring. But I just wanna show you guys what I have in my suitcase. So I have almost everything laid out right here. So first thing is a going home outfit for me. This is the one that I have worn with both of the other girls. Going home outfit for daddy. I also just got some nursing bras. So we're going to throw these in here. These are nursing bras and hands-free pumping bras. And then I like to wear a bralette when I'm in labor. So I have this one. So this is like something that I would wear when I'm going to the hospital and knowing that I'm going to have my baby. Toiletry bag. I also like to bring shower shoes because everyone says that the hospital floors are obviously very dirty. So I always will bring these with me. For baby, I really do not bring that much because the hospital has like everything. They have clothes they have blankets they even have binkies but this is just one little going home outfit that i have and then this is just a little blanket i would either bring this or like a lightweight swaddle blanket and then i have a binky just in case i need it so packing super super light for the baby because again hospital literally has everything they have clothes they have diapers they have it all and then i also like to bring a pillow and a blanket for myself and usually a pillow and a blanket for parker too i also like to bring a polaroid camera it's just super fun to have polaroids i have them from both the other girls too and then we have this little camera that we love this is the Canon PowerShot Elf 180 and we take a ton of pictures on it. We just took it on our vacation to Mexico and the pictures are always just like super cute and kind of like old school. I'm also gonna bring my computer and then just any type of charger. It's always nice to have like a 10 foot one because you just wanna make sure that it reaches your bed. I have this one to throw in here. I actually don't know what this goes to. I think this is my Kindle charger. Maybe this goes to the camera, I don't know. But I would also need like my computer charger, all of that stuff. You just wanna make sure that you are stocked up on all your chargers. I feel like that's literally like everything that you need. I wrote down a list on my phone because I made a TikTok and I'm gonna, oh, a sleep mask. I like to bring some type of sleep mask because obviously there's lots of like lights and screens and stuff in the hospital. So I wrote down bralettes, wearing home outfit, toiletry, shower shoes, pillow, blanket, sleep mask for me, for dad, going home outfit, pillow and blanket. Usually Parker just like comes home to shower anyways because we live really close to the hospital. So he doesn't even use his outfit that we bring, but it's just good to have one. For baby, going home outfit, binky, swaddle, other Polaroid computer, 
your camera, chargers, your wallet. You want to make sure you have your wallet, even though I don't think that I ever needed it, but it's just good to have. Then I also wrote down things that I don't bring that are kind of like popular things. So the first one being a robe. Maybe if you had like a really lightweight one, I just never find myself like wearing a robe because normally after birth, I'm just wearing my bralette and then the little like boy short undie things that the hospital gives you. You could definitely throw a pair of PJs in here. I like to do a lot of skin to skin with my babies. So I feel like I just haven't really needed PJs, but definitely having like button down ones or something are really nice to have so you could throw pjs in here but the robe is just like a little too much for me a lot of people like to bring slippers so they have comfy shoes to walk around in i just like to wear slippers there so that i'm already like wearing my comfy shoes but usually my labors are too fast anyway so i don't even like have the chance to walk around a lot of people will tell you to bring a towel because the hospital towels do suck but again i just i'm gonna pack light if the hospital has something i'm gonna use it instead of bringing my own besides the pillow and blanket because those are just worth it to have for me because they're like way more comfy. But for a towel, I'm gonna be drying off for like 30 seconds. I just don't need to bring my own. So I don't like to do that. I also don't bring my own postpartum supplies. I feel like you could bring a, what is it? Freedom Mom Perry bottle if you knew you were gonna be there for a long time because after you have a baby, you wanna like spray water down there when you're going to the bathroom. And the shape of that one is much better. Did I already show my postpartum stuff? Maybe I'll get that for you guys and show you. But normally I don't bring any postpartum stuff. I just use the hospitals and then when I get home, I use my own. Same with baby supplies. I also don't like to bring my own water bottle because the hospital has one, so I just don't need to. And I usually don't bring my own sound machine because if I need one, then I just play it on my phone. That is everything. I will grab my postpartum stuff though. I can't remember if I showed you guys already, but I'm just gonna grab it anyways. Okay, I actually don't even have that much, but your hospital probably will give you these or something similar. Dermaplast spray. This stuff is the best, especially if like you tear down there and it tucks pads these are also the best these are like little cooling pads so i also have a pack of pads that i got the hospital will give you like really really huge ones for the first couple days that are literally like a diaper a lot of people actually like to wear the adult diapers i can't remember if i tried them with lola or not but i ended up just like not liking those quite as much but i got the freedom mom boy short like disposable undies this time instead of buying undies that i knew i would probably like throw away after in case they got ruined so a lot of people have said that they love those and then these tux pads and then this is the freedom on peri bottle so the angle of this makes it a lot better for its intended use the one the hospital gives you is just like a normal little squirt bottle thing so it's kind of just harder for you to like get the right angle that you need using all of these together with the freedom mom disposable undies and the pad that's like pretty much everything that i use so i feel like i don't have like too many things i try to keep it kind of simple but i feel like these are all literally just like so essential so i will link them down below for you guys anyways that is gonna be all for this vlog hope you guys enjoyed watching it's been a very crazy time thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in our next vlog bye guys